this is Ada. And this is Stefan. And welcome to Living Simply in Mexico. Completely off topic. Um, uh, th there's this one uh, video channel we used to watch where the guy was, I, I'm actually here. I, there's a guy that's kind of like overbearing and always looking at the, the partner doing the conversation. <laughs> I know exactly what <laughs> it's not, it, it's there not won't a, be us it's, today, it's not a, Mex it's not a, uh, a Mexico <laughs> or travel site. It just happened to be a, an informational site that we noticed and we're like, he looks a little close. This is, this is ski week for, uh, ski week for, for my daughter and or our daughter. Sorry. This is ski always do that. I'm, I know. I'll stare at you now. Right. Our daughter. I'm sorry. It's our daughter. <laughs> uh, no, it, it basically, our daughter had the week off. And so that gave us the opportunity as a family to come, um, come down here. Anytime you're dealing with vacation time off that you have, you know, where, where you know that other kids are, are off, um, with the school year, it's prices of tickets are going to be crazy. A little more expensive. They're so, crazy. We actually came on two different flights. You had a little slightly different itinerary. Yeah. I'm working like a mad dog, to be honest with everybody. Yeah. Uh, and so I've been working during the days here and also up in the US. And so Ada had some more time, came in early, got the cheaper flight and uh, had a good time, right? Yeah, yeah. So I came um, actually, <laughs> all right. I, I came with um, and actually met up with um, one of our friends, Marilyn, who has been in uh, previous videos way back. We came on a Friday and the airport right now, you guys may know that, that the airport is definitely undergoing um, its process of expansion. It's a mess. <laughs> I think next year is when they're, they're going to really have things going well, mm -hmm. but you know, they're hopefully there'll be more terminals, but on the immigration side, they are updating to, I think have kiosks to make the immigration part go quicker. So it's more computerized. The, the downside is that the kiosks this time around, they were set up. So we saw them there were, um, but the problem is they took up the space. So instead of having several, several like people that were working them, you only had like three or four lines that were open that actually had people that were, were, were doing the, the stamp. I was at the exit row in our air, in our airplane. People were actually still on the plane in line, in line because they couldn't get Brutal. to the place where we had to snake the line down. It was, it was terrible. I would guess that it would have been a two plus hour wait oh, yeah. if I had to guess on that particular day for immigration. Yeah. And that, um, that was a Friday, right? And I came in on a, yeah. on a Monday. And you came in and it had 20 I, minutes. And, and we, we blew through in 20 minutes. We arrived and it was about <laughs> to rain. <laughs> the rain just started dumping on our way home Friday evening. It's drizzling. It's just a little drizzle, light drizzle. But we're on the road that tends to flood, so gosh, we're hoping for the best. Yep, so this is usually summertime. Okay. This is usually summertime rain when you get the, the, the rivers turning, the roads turning the rivers. But yeah, here we are. Weather cleared up. Saturdays, especially during the, the main season, um, there are two markets. You have the market that is on the Isla Quale. And that goes from about 10 to 1, I think. And then maybe it's 9 to 1. And then there's the larger market that is over in the romantic zone where where there's the, the, the park with the tiles. That market is uh, usually from about probably, I think, nine to two. That smells amazing. <laughs> I think I found my, I think I found my lunch. So we're here at this, we're at the market and you know, I was passing by these little, these little cool little things and, and, and what, what, what's your name? What's name? Wendy. Wendy. And you know, I just thought they were these little boxes, but. And the different words and different stories of boxes. And, and like inside they have these little, these little fun little surprises and she has them in all different like concepts of uh of, of like animals and and like you said they have to do with like the stories and the the tales and such of every box has a story but, 
una semana, dos semanas en lo que termino, ¿no? Luego el cortar y yeah. al final hacerlo a mano. ¿no? Okay, Todo. so uh -huh. it takes about two weeks to make, Mes, to make each one yeah. of these and to paint them. And sí. yeah, and like it's kind of fun, like the rabbit we opened up and it had its little intestines and then it had on the back, it had its little butt, its little bum bum. So anyways, and so Mollusk and your website is? Instagram. Instagram. Uh -huh. That's me, Mollusk, that's me. Okay, we'll, we'll, put the, we'll put a link and to that. All right, after coconut water, he massacres oh. the coconut. <laughs> Speaking of art, sort of during this time, um, like I said, during high season, you've got all sorts of opportunities, as, as we have kind of talked about in the past, uh, Wednesday night's art walk. Um, gra a great gallery that's actually, once again, in um, the Romantic Zone is, is Dante's. So we're here at Dante's and gallery. I'm super excited and about a painting. <laughs> Customs? Commissioned? Here it is. Yes, look at that. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Marilyn, tell me the story of, of this painting and kind of uh, how did this that come This is a about? painting by local artist Romeo de la Cruz. And if you're interested in more um, by the same artist, um, that is not necessarily um, custom, but is here, uh, right here at Dante's Dot Gallery, there's um, up by the stairwell in the back. Oh, and then of course right next to Dante's, and there's actually three of the locations here at Chocodiva, but uh, we, we just had to get some good chocolate, so uh, walking away with our little bag of goodies. I had to go into one of our storage rooms to just dig out some water, and I opened the door, and I'm digging <laughs> around, and all of a sudden there is a garobo in here somewhere. Okay, I don't, I'm not going to. Oh, let me. It, it, it went back behind there. Yeah, I'm, 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 they're a little feisty. I think I'll skip it. I quickly jumped out because the last thing I want to do is have this garobo like go further into this room <laughs> and trap it. All right, dude, get out of here. Go, 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 go that, no, way. No, that no, way. No, 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 that way. That way. Go, go right, take a right. Um, I have the feeling that it was probably the cleaning lady had it open when she was there on a particular day and, um, and you know, Grobo came in. Um, so anyways, that was a little adventure trying to coax him out. So urban hiking out here in Coloso. Hi, kitty cat. Hi. We were just uh, t commenting on the difference in the noise. It's a different sound in this neighborhood. You got dogs, you got roosters. Boys you've got, but you've got, you've got, um, you know, music, Mexican music from all directions. It's definitely a neighborhood that's alive. Drinks. What did we get here? I have the menu so I can remember. Uh, Marilyn, you got the what was it? Mezcal, pineapple. Good, good stuff. Too bad I can't read because my eyeballs are bad. But here is the menu. <laughs> I'll tell you afterwards. I got the um, carm, carm. I have the D Cortez. I have the D Cortez. I have the signature cocktail. Yeah, so this is the signature cocktail of D Cortez, and then I got the other one. So, anyways, cheers. Salud. It's a beautiful evening here. See how it is. Check out that French salad with the cheese on the side. And I got the. What did I get? I got. It's like a short rib taco. That looks amazing. The last course is our chocolate volcan cake with cinnamon ice cream. Oh yeah. Oh, this and looks great. Cream. Taking my walk here this morning and uh, ended up on the Malacan and apparently it's a VW bus festival show, car show, which I think is very appropriate for Puerto Vallarta. There's a... <laughs> 
Oh, these are fun. I'm sure there'll be some creative ones. They went all the way down the entire length. I just came halfway through. So, let's see what we find. Ooh, I think I found my dream car right here. Oh, I could do this. A little tour in Mexico. Yep, that's what I stumbled into right there. So this is the February weather <clears throat> I'm used to. Uh, it's perfect temperature day and night. I think uh, the wind chill factor is uh, <laughs> plus 68 degrees. Uh, during the daytime, probably uh, high 70s, low 80s. Um, it's about midday right now. I'm out in the sun, I'm not baking. Um, hat is still always good though. Um, but the uh, sea is beautiful. And yeah, and like I said, go on the other end of the Malacan and go find yourself a VW Bug. <laughs> Explore Mexico. All right, that was, <laughs> what you don't know happened here was Marilyn went upstairs to go to her room and I see Mr. Garobo flying from the second floor. So my guess is that the Garobo was uh, hanging out. All right, dude, why don't you just continue to go outside? Yeah, no, don't look at me. Just continue to go out. Yes, please. Continue to go. And you were roaming around, right? And you went, yeah, you, you yeah, know I don't what? think you went to Lapa Lapa down in the, the... No, no, we were just walking. You know, we ended up walking down to the end of Los Muertos Beach. And uh, it's always interesting to check out, like, once again, the, the, the progress on, on that. Remember that old hill, the, uh, that old landslide mm -hmm. um, down at the end? So we, we were just down on that end. And, um, and every time I'm over there, I do like to go, if, <laughs> I, I, I like to go to the Lapa Lapa bathrooms. Um, not so, but it's, it's convenient to use the bathroom, but it's actually <laughs> go back there. I know, sh go back there to look at the historical pictures. And this is, um, I have a soft spot for these historical pictures because of the panoramics. All right, so this is one of those interesting places that you might not think of going, but um, kind of in the, the areas behind, like if, these are the bathrooms of La Palapa restaurant. There's some really cool historical pictures along the um, along the walls here, and behind these two pictures here are kind of cool because they're the panoramics of Puerto Vallarta in 1987, 2018, and oh, sorry, I'll <laughs> we'll get you up, Phil. And uh, 1960, so it's kind of fun to see how everything has changed um, over the years. And um, and this view, by the way is our view from our original house. And we're uh, just in time for sunset, so gotta love these sunsets in Puerto Vallarta. So I finally showed up. I'm still working during the week. And so I, I had, uh, you know, I have my dress shirts here. I'm, I'm kind of like one of those people that have the dress shirts and the shorts and the flip flops. And so I'll go out. But anyway, uh, uh, when I got back, did that, and Ada, Ada had a, a new way of food, right? Well, we just got done ordering uh, food from our next door neighbor who actually has a sushi, nice. uh, runs a sushi business out of her home and usually delivers, but we could pick up. And look at the spread we got. That's so awesome. Um, this is 
pretty amazing um, and it was nice we were able to kind of custom for a couple of people that have some food uh, preferences in our presence. This was like two or three times more than we thought we would get so we had a lot of food and there was three of us so anyways um, definitely have enough for another full on meal. And Stefan who never ever, um, he's like, I don't like sushi cause it doesn't fill me up. Oh, he was the first one to be full. I also noticed there are, um, there's a lot more coffee shops, cafes and little places once again, popping up, you know, in, um, especially Emiliano Zapata and Coloso that mm -hmm. I have not seen in the past. Kind of walking in our neighborhood over here next to Chocadiva Cafe. So we're, we're over here in uh, kind of Emiliano Zapata, just by the um, Isla. And um, right there. And I looked over and I saw um, what looked like, hey, there's, there's something festive happening over here. So a little place called H.O. Aki, and apparently it's uh, kind of a little gallery, and they do, um, oh wait, you guys see this cactus chair. <laughs> um, and they also do cooking classes and, um, and churro making classes. So I think that's something I'm gonna be checking out in the future, but uh, let's, uh, let's, meet, let's meet the, uh, the people behind this. I love it. Hey, hello, so this is, uh, this is Rafa. Rafa. And Mario. 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 Yeah, so Mario is an artist and this is a working studio. So um, with recycling, yes, I love the repurposing. Oh, look These at are that. Beer that is awesome. And this is going to be kind of... Oh, very, very cool. Yeah, well, you were showing us the mirror over here. These mirrors also are a bunch of uh, Corona cans, which is... <laughs> you might not want to look at yourself in the mirror after all those. So anyways, tell me what you got going on here. So we have uh, our store with local artists, um, a lot of artists from Guanajuato, Central Mexico, and upstairs we have painters and our cooking school. So we have uh, every day, Monday through Saturday, four o'clock, a churro workshop. It is a lot of fun. And upon request, we have salsas classes, mole classes, all Mexican. Awesome. So formally trained chef, uh, formally trained artist, and this is our home. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. So yeah, well, nice meeting you guys, and we'll definitely, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll stop by again. See you here. <laughs> We're actually trying not to go out to eat as much as we have in the past, but every time we have friends that, that um, come with us, and so uh, then, you know, it's, it's obliged. It's, you know, not a bad thing, right? So uh, one place that we've always wanted to go that we haven't, that is really in high demand, is La Fina, right? Yeah, it's this, well, it's a very small little restaurant. And once again, back in Coloso. So um, this is this neighborhood, uh, like I said, check it out on the map. Um, and you you need to make reservations in advance. Um, we, you know, we actually tried stopping by just to see if it was <laughs> working <luck. laughs> there. It was on the Saturday night, it was closed the first time we, we came, um, but it ended up being um, open on another, um, kind of later in the week. So. Um, but but actually, once again, they have a Facebook page. Right. And so the nice thing with um, going back to Facebook pages is that usually they're, like, people will have their WhatsApp information so you can directly um, contact people. So if you don't have WhatsApp, get WhatsApp because that's a really great way to, if, if they're not on open table, um, you know, or they're not there, uh, that's oftentimes a way that they will actually take reservations. All right. I don't know. Should I be worried that my... Um, Your drink is smoking? My drink is smoking. Uh, what is this? This is the Amaras? Amaras, yes. Alright, which has, what does it have in it? I don't know, it has mezcal, espadín, frutos rojas, rojos, menta, tajín, ancho, reyes, and limón. We'll see if I like this, otherwise I'm taking your mojito. There's a lot of food here. Two hours later. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you know what? The, it's the good. The appetizer was good. Look at that. Big it's another thing. appetizer. Ooh. Because yours. Oh, it looks like fish. yours wins for sheer volume. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that does yeah. look beautiful. So just as a note, if you're able to get the earlier seating, um, the, the waiters there actually recommended try to get the earlier seating because there were already there were some things that I was interested in getting that were they were out of it right um, and so um, and also it's you're probably just like anything else you know you, you, you'll probably get 
sort of through that process a bit quicker. We were there for quite a while. Like almost like two and a half hours, I would say. I, I you know, we, we got there, uh, we got there kind of the last setting. Uh, and, you know, we had a table, literally it was on the street. I Literally I was three foot away from a parked car. <laughs> That's how it was in this small little place, but it's a, it's a, a nice higher end restaurant. Right? Oh my god, the food and was the food, amazing. The food was really good, but it was it was slow in coming. But it, it it was it was it was a great time. That food was worth the wait. This was the flan. This was just the flan. Oh my, my god. god, we weren't that's gonna ridiculous. do dessert, but dessert, but Marilyn. That looks like one. Of, that looks like Hi, a Marilyn. fantastic flan. Go for it. And then it was uh, Carnival uh, here in Puerto Vallarta, and. In the middle of that, uh, there was a, uh, either a wedding or renewing of vows or something, but there was a couple that were was walking through the crowd with a uh, mariachi band and everything, and that was really cool. Th this huge crowd was there for Carnival, and here you know, everybody's clapping for them as they're walking through up to the church. That was so awesome. Uh That's pretty cool, and uh, yeah, and then Carnival itself was like there was there was uh, definitely some. That festivities. was a parade. That was a very long parade. Well, and, and they had they had festivities going on for three full yes. days. We we didn't we didn't crowning uh, the ugly king and all kinds of other other crazy. Yeah, stuff. we we actually didn't go down to see those things, but we did want to make sure we made it to the parade, and that and that was a lot of fun. Yeah, and I always worry about parades here in Puerto Vallarta, primarily because. You want to like not miss that any float or something so you're taking all this video and so uh there's really not much to, to talk about it so much except for just see the sights and sounds and so at the end of our video here we'll just put in a longer version of what the parade was like so you get an idea of what it's like to carnival here in uh, puerto Vallarta if you didn't see it or to relive it if you were here <laughs> and i just heard a gorobo was it or was it just the wind no it's a gorobo that's okay all right well that's okay. But in any event... Maybe he'll go flying down. <laughs> exactly. Well, anyway, I think that's it for now, right? Yeah, I think so. So uh, make sure that you like, subscribe, join the Facebook group, Living Simply in Mexico. And if you happen to be on TikTok... Oh, that is the Garobo. Yep. I do hear it. Yep, Garobo was up there. Um, then subscribe to... Or you can subscribe or look for us on Living Simply in Mex yep. um, on TikTok. But we are putting those TikTok videos inside the Facebook group for those of you who just don't want another social media thing. Exactly. Which we completely understand. So, anyways. Anyway, that's it. So enjoy the Carnival Parade. Take care, everybody.
ya salió la luna, ahorita me aliviano. Siempre me pelea por loco, pero le cumplo sus antojos. Porque traigo nada, los tres de coco, los tres de coco, nada de 